Yo, what up you guys, Bacardi here, and today I'm going to be checking out and listening to an album that I have put off for over a month now, and uh, patiently, patiently waited until I started making videos again so I can react to this in full, and that of course is from my favorite girl group, who created a subunit out of nowhere that I wasn't ready for, and that of course is Irene and Sugi's Monster EP, and yes, yes, finally! Uh, I know I'm late to the party, but better late than never. And yeah, like I said, um, just, pff, it's been forever, uh, that I've just, like, tried to avoid everything about this album, from music videos to just, like, sound clips and everything, gifts, pictures, everything, just, like, you know, while everyone else just enjoyed it, I was, like, <laughs> I was, like, in this hole, like, I can't, I can't see it yet, but yeah, my favorite girl group, um, the albums, I already bought them, they already came, like, literally, Three days ago, this version came, which is like the bass note version. I haven't even opened it. I haven't, I haven't opened any of them. Yeah, but this is kind of cool. It's like a, it's like a magazine kind of, and then like the stuff is inside. But yeah, I don't even know if I will open it. You know, who knows? But yeah, um, talking about the subunit, um, I was a little hesitant on it because I was thinking, well, do they really need a subunit? But then I thought about it. It's like, okay, they can't do a comeback with all five members because obviously. What happened with Wendy at the end of last year? So, and then Yeri kind of doing her own thing. Joy also kind of doing her own thing. So it's like, uh, I guess afterwards I realized, okay, it makes sense, you know, considering uh, they did the the dance video with just the two of them for, I think, uh, what is it, Be Natural? Uh, yeah, and so I guess they were like, okay, let's try this out, you know? And then... You know, even though I didn't uh, watch the music video for Monster or, any, or anything like that, all I heard was really good things about it. So I was like, oh, okay, they probably killed it, you know? And it's like, from the past month, I've heard nothing but good things about this. So really excited to check it out. I did, however, watch um, a video for Naughty because it was like, I don't know, it was like late one night. I was drunk and it was like, it came on. I was like, fuck it, let's watch it. But I only watched it once. I only watched it once. So I don't remember the song. I do remember the choreo for that being amazing just really standing out even though i only watched it once the choreo stood out a lot so yeah that's gonna be cool to revisit but obviously monster of course up first so we're gonna start off with that really excited to see the music video for that also um i did start watching the level up project with irene and sugi so uh i did a reaction to the first four episodes and I'll include the reaction uh, in the link in the description below on Google Drive if you guys want to watch. It's not really um, like past seasons, of course, of a level up, you know, because we're missing the other three. So it's kind of different. Uh, I'm still enjoying it, though. So first four episodes, um, I'll do five, six and seven um, when I watch like uh, maybe uh, a choreo video from Monster. I'll include that in that video and then the last three i'll include um in my reaction for red velvet uh coming together finally uh for their cover of boa's i think milky way yeah milky way so the group is back wendy's back thank god she's okay she's doing great she looks amazing so yeah uh, i'll just like you know include those um in those upcoming videos but like, finally finally i can listen to this so let's start off with monster all right, quick backstory. Irene is my bias in the group. And um, from everything I heard about this music video, it's about, to be, uh, it's about to be spicy from what I've heard. So let's go. No, no, no. <laughs> We're 10 seconds in. Bro, look at her face. What? Oh, that is, that is a dangerous, dangerous look, okay? And then so Okay, I'm just gonna be honest, I'm not gonna pay attention to the lyrics right now, because <laughs> visually this is a lot. Okay, 
I saw the gun part, yeah, I remember that. Someone posted a picture of that. Okay. Oh, she looks so good right there. Oh, this part of the instrumental. Oh hell no! <laughs> what the fuck? You just gonna pop that out of nowhere? What is this, The Exorcist? <laughs> okay, I wasn't ready for that, but I like it. Seriously, Exorcist kind of vibes. I would not I would I would I I I can't wait to watch the choreo for this. I got no words. I got no words. Except just, that was fucking amazing. Okay, I'm gonna watch him one more time because obviously I have to. Uh, but this time I'm really gonna pay attention to the lyrics because I, I paid no attention to them shits before. This opening, man.
I'm a little messed up. I'm a little messed up. Still so sick. Whoever did the choreo for this, Props. I'm a little monster. Dog, I'm sweating. Okay, let's talk about this. Okay, let's try and talk about this and try to not go for like 20 minutes because I feel like you could talk about it for 20 minutes because there is a lot to this music video and this song. So let me talk about the song first. Song is great, okay? I love that instrumental. Um, uh, Particularly the chorus. I love how uh, the beat and the chorus goes, but it has this like mood to it where it's like um kind of eerie kind of really like hard at times also just I, I don't know how to describe it there's like like how it starts um I, I'm, I'm listening to it again it just kind of builds on like the beginning starts off kind of smooth and then you know obviously it gets heavier a little bit and then once the chorus drops, just that bass, bro, it just, poof, that shit just comes through, and it goes so hard, it's almost dubstepish in a way, you know? Um, and that little sample they use, I don't know what it is, of course, but like, you know, it sounds amazing in the chorus, but even sprinkled in throughout the song, it just comes in, and even in the music video, when they like, when that voice pops on, whatever it is, and like, they do these really quick cuts of like, their faces, you know, and just like everything works together so well. Um, like I mentioned, Sogi just sounds amazing as usual. I love how Irene starts the song off. She sounds really good right there. Uh, they all, they both sound amazing, but it's like, um, man, <laughs> this song is just so much. Even watching it now, it's like, God damn. Their vocals complement each other really well, which is one thing I was curious about. You know, when they announced this uh, subunit, that I was like, hmm, so used to hearing, like, you know, the group together kind of as a whole, but never heard just them two on a song together. So that that's like the most one of the most interesting uh, things about this, you know, uh, just how they would do a whole song together. And I think they did really well for this one, man. I do think, though, that more than the vocals, the strongest aspect of this song is this choreo, because it is fucking amazing that and the music video so let me just go to the music video now um from the moment it starts you are immediately hooked in specifically talking about the music video version but yeah um the moment it starts you know uh just like hooks you in and i gotta like i need to know who choreographed this whoever did this like they deserve some kind of award for this shit because um, I haven't even seen, like, you know, just the choreo video for this, but even the music video version, it is just, like, it's a piece of art, bruh. Like, everything, how it goes with the song, uh, little moves they do, like, with the instrumental, uh, their attitude, their facial expressions, like, their, the, the vibe they're giving off, you know? It's so different compared to a lot of their other songs. This is not, uh the red in red velvet you know this is velvet taken to a whole nother level this is some this is some next level shit from them um yeah man this is uh 
I don't want to quote misquote her, but I I think I remember Irene saying something about like she wanted to do something kind of like this, a, a more mature concept maybe. I don't know. I think I heard something like that. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, um, this is really just like, you know, way different, even compared to something like Psycho or Bad Boy or, you know, um, Peekaboo even, you know, even Automatic or something like that. This is like, this is something really different. I kind of wish the other members were on this, but I don't know how well they would do. Um, but these two, these two just like fucking nailed it, you know? Cinematography is amazing. Costume design, set design is amazing. Um, I feel like everyone on the team really went out of their way for this one because this is like one of the, this is one of the best music videos I've seen this year in K-pop. This is just this is fantastic. Choreo's incredible. It's like feels like they put their all into this, which is really cool to see. You know, because it feels like. I've been saying, I'm like, SM, yo, like, you need to start paying attention to Red Velvet more, man. I feel like they go, they go, like, unnoticed by, like, their company sometimes. But this, this feels like they put a lot of effort into this, which I'm really glad to see. I feel like I can talk about this a lot more, and I probably will when I do uh, the choreo video for this. But right now, this song is great. This choreo is fucking amazing. This music video is amazing. The everything from costume, set design, cinematography, just overall direction is amazing. This is easily a ten out of ten in that department. Like it's past a ten out of ten, yo. It's a hundred out of ten because it's so goddamn good. Okay. I will talk more about this uh, when I do the choreo video, but I have to keep going or else this video will just go on forever. So next up is Naughty. Okay, with Naughty, I've seen the choreo video or like the music video for this, but I do want to watch the lyric video because um, the other video doesn't have any lyrics to it. So once again, I'm going to have to do two versions. I'll do the lyric video first, then we'll watch the choreo video. Let's go. Starting to like kind of come back. I like their back and forth, they sound really good. Wait, this should have been clubbed. background vocals
once again. Well done. Okay, that one was way more pop and dance heavy compared to Monster, and I really enjoyed it for that, you know? Uh, like I mentioned, kind of a club song. Um, I really like the vibe of that one, man. Just like, you know. Um, like I said, dancey, but also kind of uh, sensual at parts uh, throughout the song. Um, uh, I said, I really like Irene on that song, you know? One thing I kind of expected was just like, you know, getting to hear more of them and their vocals and everything. It's like, obviously I know how good Sogi is, but uh, it's nice to hear Irene kind of like flex her vocals, you know, a lot more. Because, um, you know, uh, it's just the two of them, so she has like way more lines here. So that's really cool to hear. Um, and yeah, who produced that? I see a moonshine on there. I'm not sure who that is, but yeah. Um... Uh, Production was really good, man. Really liked the instrumental. And once again, just like little vocal effects in there, or samples, you could say. But yeah, stuff like that just sounds really good. Uh, I really like that one. But let's get into this choreo, because I've only seen it one, once, like I said. But I remember it being crazy. Alright, let's go. Visuals. By the way, this is episode one. Has episode two come out yet? I don't think so. <laughs> I like when they bump into each other. Crazy. 
Oh yeah! Oh, they did do episode two and three. Oh, okay. Dude, we're only two songs in, and this is... This is already too much. <laughs> this is already, like, one of the best choreos of the year. One of the best music videos of the year. It's like, oh. And we still have four more songs left. That was... That was crazy. Like I mentioned, same with Monster. That choreo is another work of art. Um, I don't know what was going on with, like, the choreo team but they were like they were on another level with like this project um yeah song still amazing um but once again the choreo kind of just like puts it on a whole nother level you know um like even though i enjoy the song so much and it's so good to listen to by itself like when you watch them do all those like moves with the hands and everything and arms and everything it just like just takes it like to a whole nother level you know like, you can enjoy the song by itself, but, like, when you watch them perform it, it just takes it to a whole nother level. Um, man. I, I'm really upset that we're not getting, like, you know, regular, like, concerts or award shows, you know, with, like, in front of, like, a large crowd, you know? Because I think if they had the chance to do something like this on a big stage, they would just kill it. Seriously. Um, hopefully... In the future, you know, they get to do something like that. Because these two songs alone are up there with, like, you know, tracks of the year. Specifically, I think Monster. As a song, I still like Monster more, I think. I just vibe with that song more. Even the music video and the choreo and everything. But this, this is like, if that's like 1A, this is 1B, you know? Uh, and they're both so damn good. And just like, once again, props to them, you know? I think everyone knows how good of a dancer Sugi is, but to see Irene just like keeping up with her and just killing it right next to her. Uh, once again, she's showing our vocals on the song, but showing how amazing she is at dancing uh, in this choreo. And it's like, um, props to her, props to my bias, showing off like how talented she really is, man. Seriously, so happy for her. And just Sugi too, um, they killed it. It's just, again, two songs in. So let's go to the next song. All right, next up, Diamond. Now, this is produced by uh, Daniel Obi Klein. I hope I said his last name right. Uh, he produced one of my favorite Luna tracks ever with the clips, so hyped for this. Let's go. Diamond in the rock, diamond, diamond in the rock. Oh, this shit just sucks. Diamond in the rock, diamond, diamond in the rock. Oh, 
as far as like favorite songs so far and that was just that was so good first off that instrumental so good that is just a mood like i said very r&b very like you know sexy um chill also but just the way their vocals complement that instrumental just creates this perfect harmony man um Man, once again, Irene just like showcasing vocals. There's one part in particular. It's at 2 minutes 28 seconds. It's when she says, don't lose this moment, hold tight, as you like it, have everything. The way she sings that part, she sounds amazing right there. Um, man. Wow. Once again, it's like, I don't really have that much else to say except like, you know, Song's amazing. Uh, they sound amazing. But this is the one song where uh, I can say, like, you know, just them mixed with this instrumental, just like a perfect harmony going on. Even with them going back and forth, like I mentioned, uh, this is the song so far that just, like, brings everything together in the best way so far that I've heard. Um, as good as Monster was, as good as Naughty is, this is really... My favorite song so far off the EP. Uh, I love everything about it. Also, I kind of have to mention this, and I don't know if this is going to be true of, like, the second half of the album, but I kind of like how, so far, the entire project seems to have this more uh, mature kind of vibe going on to it, you know? Like, so far, there hasn't been anything really, uh, I don't want to say, like, cutesy or anything, but, it's like, you know, it's continue this theme of, you know, kind of being more uh, grown-up-ish, if, if I can call it that. Okay, next song, Feel Good, let's go.
내가 불행한만큼 너도 그러길 바라지 몰라 내가 널 얼마큼 더 망칠 수 있을지 Okay, I know I just said that Diamond is probably my favorite song so far. Feel Good is now uh, fighting for that spot, okay? I, I can't decide because that was so good, bro. Yo. First off, Irene, once again, sounding amazing. This, this might be a song where... I think she sounds even better than Silky on here. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. Personally, for me, okay? Yeah. Um, she sounds so good on here. Like, um, I was shocked, honestly. I was shocked by this instrumental and just how it started off, you know? Because with the title, like, Feel Good, I thought maybe, okay, we're going to, like, switch it up a little and just, you know, try to do something a bit more lighthearted and maybe pop fun. Like, nope. Fuck that. And they were like, no, it's like, I want to hurt you. <laughs> I was like, whoa, these lyrics, yo. Oh, uh, yeah, that was wild. I love that song. I love the lyrics. I love the instrumental. I love their vocals. I love everything about it, man. Uh, I wish there was a music video for that song. Or some special video, because that, that was amazing. That was so good. Um, damn, bro. I just was not expecting that. Um... I hope they do some kind of special video for it, because that, that is really good, man. Wow. I'm so taken aback by this album, man. It's like, you know, I didn't know what to expect from it, and I I just wasn't ready for how good it is. You know, obviously we have two songs left, and one of them is a solo, but still. Uh, so far, this has been, like, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of... I'm kind of mad that I took so long to get to it, but, you know, better late than never, and man. Um, all the good things I heard about it, it's like, yeah, it's true, you know? It's like I'm seeing it now. This is such a good project, and we're still not done. So next song is Jelly. All right, let's go. Okay, so this is the one that's kind of more playful and fun. I like this. It's kind of rappy a little bit. It's like background sounds. Oh, I 
production on this album has been amazing. Sugi is killing it here. They... Wow. Okay, so you know how I mentioned I thought Feel Good was going to be like that. Kind of more mellow, fun, bringing it down a little bit to a lighthearted mood kind of song. No, it wasn't. That was actually this song. It was Jelly. And yeah, really nice that they did decide to do that. You know, kind of like, you know, bring it down a little bit and just kind of have... We have one more song, but kind of end the album in this kind of fun little way, you know? Um, yeah, but still, keeping up with this theme. I mentioned it, man, like... The production on this album has just been amazing on every song. Um, once again here, you know. Um, I'm amazed, honestly. Like, I just, I don't know why I didn't expect it to be this damn good, you know. Um, I really like, like, Sugi on this song just like, killed it. Especially, like, that last minute or so. But Irene, too. Like, she had these little parts in there where it was like, She's like kind of rapping a little bit. It's like also, it's like this sing rappy thing going on, you know? Um, but yeah, just once again, they're back and forth. But really, at the end, kind of harmonizing there. Uh, really well done, man. You know, this album is like just the two of them. But at the same time, I feel like you can very easily just throw in the other members on here. And it will just be like a Red Velvet EP, you know? Um... Even though it's just Irene and Sogi, it very much is still Red Velvet in its, like, uh, sound. Specifically the Velvet side, um, which I really like, you know? That's my favorite um, side of Red Velvet, you know? Stuff like, you know, Bad Boy and, like, you know, Automatic and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and this album is just all of that. <laughs> it's just all that vibe, and I fucking love it for that. Um, yeah. Which kind of makes me wish that the other members were on this. But it also makes it this own kind of special thing. And it makes me look forward to what their comeback together, all five of them, is going to be like. Because if it's anything like this, ooh, look out world, because coming for your neck. Okay? Um, yeah. I loved it. And we still have one more song to go. This is a bonus track, of course. And it's just Sogi with Uncover. All right, let's go. Ooh, really interesting beginning. I 
for if they're bringing some saxophone in this instrumental. This once again is a mood. that it was a solo uh uh because i could easily see like irene on that song too but it's like um i don't know i guess they decided like you know maybe sogi was just like the best choice or whatever but still she sounded great on there bro she did and once again production is just killing it that honestly gave me like it's obviously sounds very um western uh it even gave me a little bit like weekend kind of beyonce circa 2013 kind of vibes you know um but yeah she stopped she sounded amazing on there man all i re really wished was maybe get some saxophone there at the end i don't know that's just me personally kind of like end the song like that you know that would have been cool but yeah um maybe a look at like you know what sugi as like a solo star could sound like you know uh yeah because any of the members i feel like can do that but uh, yeah, she's sounding great. Really good song. Not one that I would probably like pick to listen to unless I was like in a certain mood or something, but still, just as a song, really good. Okay, let's talk about this whole EP. I was genuinely blown away at how good it was from all levels. From the production, which is a huge part of it that I think uh, deserves a lot of credit from everyone involved even like you know writing the lyrics and everything just the whole team involved uh every song sounded fantastic to me um i'll get to irene and Sylvia at the end i guess but even um uh, like you know the team at sm you know it's like you know everyone involved in the creative process from like you know costumes to uh, cinematography and the music videos and even like those uh episode clips and just like you know the whole team involved they seem to be like you know it seems like they put a lot of effort into this which i'm really glad you know um because even me i had my like you know kind of hesitance when i first heard about this project and then of course just irene and sogi themselves they they just seem like you know really motivated uh particularly irene i think getting to showcase like you know her ability as a singer and even as a dancer. Um, she seemed like, you know, I mean, I'm just like speculating, of course, but she seemed particularly motivated, you know, to kind of like really uh, give it her all and everything. And like I mentioned before, I think she wanted to do something like this, a concept like this, you know. Um, Sogi, we know, 
amazing singer, amazing dancer, you know? Uh, so it may, it's no surprise that she just absolutely killed it here. But um, even with a concept and a music video like Monster, you know, when you know her personality, like outside of music, it is really surprising to see her do stuff like that, you know, and just like really kill it. Like some of the looks she gives, like I should be used to it by now when I'm seeing Bad Boy and Psycho and stuff like that. But it's like still it's just to see her do stuff like this, like and then, and then to see her like, you know, um, on like a variety show and just be like the total opposite, like the duality there from Sogi the performer to Sogi just like, you know, the person. And it's like, man, uh, that is just like an amazing trait, I think, uh, from her. This completely just like blew my expectations out of the water, man. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed uh, by this project. And, you know, don't know if they're going to do it again. Um, they probably will just based on the success of it. But um, I hope next time when they do it, uh, maybe get some guests in there. Get some guests, like, you know, features in there. I feel like uh, more companies should do stuff like that, you know? Now that we got just them, maybe in the next one, you know, throw Joy in there, throw Wendy in there, throw Yeri in there, or even someone else from SM, you know? That would be really cool to see, you know? If they ever want to do, like, a full-length album with just them two. Um, but for now, now that Wendy's back, I'm really excited to see, you know, what the whole group is going to do, um, maybe at the end of the year or something, you know? Uh, yeah, but as far as this project goes, I loved it. I think it's amazing. Uh, once I'm done recording this and filming and editing, I'm just going to be listening to this EP again and again, man, because I feel like from beginning to end, um, there's not one bad song and there's not one song that I'm going to be like, yeah, I feel like skipping this. Maybe uncover because I feel like I need to be in a certain mood for that song. But from Monster to Jelly, you can just put that on loop, man. Really well done from everyone. Uh, thoroughly impressed. And it's like, man, it was worth the wait. Honestly, it was. Yeah. Uh, and now that... I'm finally caught up. It's like, now I can watch everything else. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to check out, like, uh, the dance performance video for Monster, you know, and just like, yeah. But, once again, really well done. And hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Once again, part one of my reaction to um, Level Up Project with Irene and Sogi uh, is in the link in the description below. But, yeah, as always, peace, love, have a blessed day. See you next time.